what is up everybody no no i'm not a villain i'm not here to rob you this isn't a stick up your boy just has covid <laughs> logie bear the cameraman here coming to you live from the inside of my pickup and i have tested positive for coronavirus 19. scary scary thing guys i've got covid watch out i'm gonna get you i can't get you not through this computer screen um yeah that's right you guys i have covid and that's kind of scary because we have a steelhead trip coming up that is one of my favorite trips of the year and I really don't want to miss that. It's just so funny to me how like the most mundane things like grocery shopping, you take it for granted. I mean, like as soon as I tested positive, the urgent care lady or whatever that did my rapid test, she said she gave us the CDC guidelines on this piece of paper and made it basically sound it is illegal to go into public places. So I've been quarantined at my house with my wife who also tested positive. We're just a big COVID household right now. So like I was saying, that was about five days ago on the 17th, and uh, CDC recommends 10 days. So on the 27th, I'm gonna go back and test again. And if I'm negative, then I'm good to go. My wife's gonna test again too, and if she's negative, then I am good to go to Steelhead Camp Trip. But uh, yeah, that's my life really. Um, sorry the Hush Life vlog for me isn't more exciting. It is a beautiful day though. Look at those hills. It's so pretty, birds are flying. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, Eric Chester, you ever seen Shed that big before? Didn't think so. Didn't think so, but it's a beautiful day to have COVID, I guess. <laughs> um, I do have good news for you guys, however. You have the opportunity to be a winner. That's right. You have the opportunity to win a brand new Exo Mountain Gear K3 frame with the bag of your choice of size and color. Brand new Exo backpack. Um, all you guys have to do is text Hush Pack one word to the number 29071. That's hush pack, one word, 29071. Um, this is a giveaway thing that we usually do with our VIP text group. If you guys are not aware, if you are aware, don't worry, you don't have to text, you've already been entered. This giveaway will be running February 22nd, today, Monday, through Friday, the 26th, the end of this week. And the winner will be chose on or before March 1st. So once again, if you guys have not entered into our text giveaway, whether you've been on the fence about it and just didn't want to win free stuff or you haven't heard of it, that's all you have to do. You have to text HUSHPACK to 29071. If you guys have been a part of our previous giveaways, if you are a member of our HUSH VIP text list, that is the beauty of it. Maybe you don't want to win this backpack, but still text it because you'll be entered automatically for future giveaways. Well, that's my spiel. Um, go win yourself a new backpack. I got groceries in the back of my truck now. And this has been the exciting day in the life of a COVID carrier. I'm gonna take my mask off now. We're gonna go home to the family. Uh, everybody's been good. It's, I don't wanna say that it hasn't been terrible because my wife has experienced a little bit more, uh, her symptoms have maybe been a little bit more severe than mine. We have an 11 month year old child at home and I believe he had it too. Uh, my son, Becca, I think he had it and then we got it. And so we all had it at the same time, but Everybody's fine. It's been uh, cold symptoms. Uh, me nor my wife have gotten a fever or anything like that. Um, her cold symptoms are just a little bit more than mine. So we're day five, uh, nothing crazy, you know, really. Just uh, lots of vitamins, much sleep as possible. Uh, doing things like curbside pickup for groceries and uh, just living at home life, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this vlog on to over who is ever next, but bringing home the bacon, honey. I got, I got all the groceries. What is going on everyone? It is February 20. First Sunday, February 21st, something like that. I've lost track of time, guys. I have lost my darn mind and I've lost track of time. Let me tell you what's been going down here in Hush North. So about a week ago, not even quite a week ago, last Wednesday, so like five days ago, I went skiing. We got a ton of snow at the local resort. Went skiing, absolute banner day while I was riding with Logie Bear. He called me later that day after we got home from the mountain and said, hey, just so you know, I just tested positive for COVID. So there you are. So I've been quarantining myself, not out here in the shop, but at my house. Gonna go get tested tomorrow, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, Logan didn't transmit the Rona to me. We did ride on the lift together, and we did share 
a water bottle. So chances of me having it are pretty high. I have no symptoms of it whatsoever. I feel uh, amazing, as amazing as my hair looks. But yeah, I have had zero symptom. But on the same hand, Logan said the same for him. He, if he wouldn't have got tested, he wouldn't have a clue that he was sick. The only reason he did go get tested is because his wife lost her sense of taste. But anyway, it's not the worst thing in the world, but at the same time, I'm going insane and we have a steelhead trip planned next week. If I end up testing for it, most likely I will not be able to attend the steelhead trip. So that's where I'm at. I've been shooting a lot though, been practicing. I really like shooting in my shop, not too far, it's only about Eight yards, maybe 12 yards and 10 yards. I don't know how many yards, maybe nine. But I'm really working on my mechanics. A lot of people don't know this. I didn't know this for years. I've shot bows since I was probably six, seven, eight years old. I never really understood that when this goes off, it should be a surprise, just like the trigger of a gun. So when you're pulling the trigger on this, you don't want to be what they call punching it or slapping it. So when that bow goes off, it should be a surprise. And that goes for both a thumb release or a trigger release. So that's something I've been really working on because I have had target panic in the past and that's where I dr get drawn back. Even on 3D targets, I'll get drawn back and just I'm ready just to start squeezing and all of a sudden I'll just pull through it and jerk it. Sometimes I'll just come out here to like this far, like literally point blank and I'll just make sure I'm on the target but I'm not even aiming. All I'm working on is my mechanics of that release going off unexpectedly. Another thing I've been using a lot, which I like this, I'll show you guys this real quick. I got this at a local archery shop. I don't even know if this is like a company that's made here locally or if it's a big brand, I don't know. So I just saw it there. I was just asking the guy, I'm like, what do you, what's your thoughts on that? And he was actually what really helped me out. So I picked one up. It's this thing here. So this is basically like a bow handle. So you can grip, grip it like you would your bow. And then it's got a string. You can change it to your draw length. It's got a sight, I guess, if you could practice. That's part of it. How's my focus going? Anyway, so anyway, all you do is draw back like you normally would, get your anchor point like you normally would. Everything's feeling good, so it's all about mechanics. So if you watch my release, hopefully I'm doing this right. John Dudley's probably watching this going, nope, he's not. Slowly squeeze, like I said, 80%. It's your muscles in your back tightening, pulling through. But it's also that pressure on your thumb. So when it goes off, should be a surprise, which that was. Anyway, I've been using that. Like I said, I don't know who owns this company, md50gear.com. You guys have heard of it. There's other things out there to practice. The best practice is obviously your bow. So that's where I'm at, guys. Uh, I'm really hoping I don't have COVID because I need to get out of the house. This year's been really weird. It's been very, felt like it's been very off. Cause we typically spend the month of February, January, February, getting ready for the expos. There's a lot that goes in to that. What me and Logan usually tackle is the movie premiere. Then everything on top of that for the expos, both Portland and Salt Lake. So our month, January, February is shot. And usually by this time every year, I'm wiped out. I'm done wanting to do anything for Hush for about two weeks. Well, I'm chomping at the bit this year to go out and film some content because we didn't get to take part in those things. Both the expos got canceled, obviously. And so uh, it feels like I've been doing nothing. So anyway, uh, I was gonna show you guys around the shop. I've done a little walk through the shop in the past. I've had some people say, do a more thorough walkthrough. I'll have to do that one day. But this is kind of what we're working with. You know, you build a shop like this and you're like, man, I wanna be able to hang animals in here forever. Well, you start running out of space. So I had to pump the brakes on some taxidermy work. This wall I've always said is gonna be dedicated to the kids. But what we have is uh, Gage wants to put all his stuff in his room and uh, Braley just shoots stuff that's too big to actually go on the wall like that. So I don't know, there's some space left there, but I've got, three white tails that I don't know where to put. This cow has kind of been like my European wall here, my European mount wall, but it's pretty full already. I don't know, I could go and probably reorganize it and that just sounds like a lot of work that I don't want to really do. Got three white tails, this one from Wyoming, um, which guys you should go check out, great film. This one from Kansas, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, shot that with the new Hoyt Ventum. And then that's a white tail that uh, my daughter Braley shot here probably three or four years ago in Missouri. Anyway, I don't know where to hang them up. I'm trying, I was gonna put them up here somewhere. I was gonna actually put them up there and Logan said no. So that's where we're at. Anyway, I need to organize this place. Eric, um, Eric, here, I'll let Eric show you. I hit a shot. 
show them your shop, how clean it is, Eric, okay? Holy crap, guys. A Hush Life vlog. Man, it has been a minute. Welcome back to the vlog. We've got a lot of catching up to do, right? There's been tons going on here at the house, and I'll give you guys an update as we kind of carry this thing throughout, but I'm going to get ready to go to the gym using my Mountain Ops Lemonade Yeti. This is my favorite flavor, but I actually stack it a lot with uh, other flavors. Today I did strawberry, um, kiwi strawberry, so half and half. So mix those up, got my pre-workout. I'm gonna go to the gym, but today it's a nice and sunny day here in Salt Lake. Not sure how it is up for the guys in Idaho, but me and Brian have got some good weather. And because of that, I'm gonna go pick up a couch. I finally bought a couch for my living room. It's February, guys, and typically we are doing a lot of expos, getting ready for expos and traveling for the expos. And honestly, uh, since we haven't been, it's kind of thrown me through a loop. I mean, on top of that, you have, you still have all this COVID stuff going on. Sorry, let me turn this off. And so it's just like, everything is kind of weird, right? It's a dead time of the year. Typically we're going to the hunt expos and doing all that. And now we're not. So I'm doing home projects. Let me give you guys a look at my living room. All right. So here's the current updates. If anyone remembers, I had like tile. Tile was right here and then it was actually on the wall as well. It's the same tile in the kitchen right there. And so Jay Jenkins, my buddy of mine that we go to Florida with and fish with and who we went to Kentucky with, tore it out and put in this hardwood floor. This is red, a mixture of red and white oak. So true wood, um, super stoked on how it turned out, kind of a grayish tone and uh, painted the walls white. They were like a tan before. And my buddy Mike Hansen helped me put in can lighting. It's turning out great, and this is all baseboard. I just painted the baseboard, so why go to the gym, let that dry? I was hoping it was a little darker. Now that I have it next to the wood, I wish it was a little darker. I'm tempted to go get some darker paint, but I'm so sick of painting. I painted this entire room white, and yeah. So the good news is, I finally found a sectional. Um, I'm not one to be on top of things when it comes to home decor and furnishing but apparently with covid a lot of things are backed up and the sectional that i was looking for is really hard to find and i'll show you guys the update as we go through the day we're at least going to put the couch in there and i think we're going to let those baseboards dry a little bit longer before we put them up but yeah more than anything guys welcome back to the hush life vlog this is what my life has come to guys grocery shopping and furniture shopping <laughs> I guess it was bound to happen I dodged it for many many years and lived off the bare minimum as far as furniture and items and stuff like that but these are the cushions to the sectional I bought and I'm gonna come back with my buddy Tori and we're gonna load up the two pieces and haul them to the house so it's gonna be nice to have somewhere to sit in that living room you guys who have followed along remember that living room has basically been a taxidermy and shed antler storage unit <laughs> ever since i got it so over a year now and i haven't really had a couch in there to, to sit with and i haven't had like a finished family room so this is going to feel good but we'll get to that and then i want to show you guys my garage it's also got some updates and some new stuff that i can show you guys so when we get to the house we'll show you guys the big old garage and give you a little tour I'm gonna head out to the garage, so figured I'd take you guys out there with me. Cranberries. The real original fruit snacks. Don't mind the mess in the kitchen. Oh, heck, why don't I show you my living room real quick. I have my buddy Tori over here and we got my new sectional in. There's a All right, we got lights. Let me show you guys. Got a new rug at Costco. Tori's got a Costco membership. So we went with that creamy microfiber. And we got the sectional with the L shape and the chase lounge. I was gonna bring my elk in here today, but unfortunately it's too tall. So eight foot ceilings in this room and the bull I wanted to bring in on the pedestal it's on is 
about eight foot, 10 inches, I think. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. These pedestals I had made by my buddy Mitch worked perfect for the expo and they worked perfect down at the Mountain Ops office. But they're a little too tall. So here's the uh, garage for now. So some of the changes, BMAC just took the second desk. There was two side-by-side -side desks there, but he wanted to upgrade his desk at home. And uh, this is the bowl I was gonna have in the living room. I gotta get it in there somehow, but it's just too tall, so it's beyond my reach. I measured it and it's just a little too tall, but for any of you who haven't seen the garage, this was a garage build I've been working on all year. This is kind of where we're at, but this is the newest addition of the garage. This came out of the actual two car garage attached to the house. And I finally decided, you know what? I need to make some room in that garage. And literally this space is designated and literally built out for antlers and taxidermy. So I said, you know what? We're gonna haul them out. And this took me an all day project. I had them out on the yard and I was cleaning them, putting all the sets in matching sets. And it was actually fun to pull them out, hold each one again, and just, again, remember those good memories and the people I was with when I found a whole bunch of those. But this is, this is the garage. We got the lock bucks up there. I got some moose sheds, my Idaho bull, some whitetail sheds from Texas and um, South Dakota right there. Small gym. Might get a little extra second workout in today. And then we've got the elk up there. These are all bulls I've taken except the giant. That was a deadhead found in Utah. Sometimes I'll come out here and work. Um, use the computer. I've got the computer here. Sit down and work. Unfortunately, the internet is not as fast here as it is inside. So when we do conference calls and podcasts and stuff, I go inside. But yeah, I thought I'd take a moment to show you guys the garage. We'll have to do like a really good walkthrough when I get this place organized a little bit. It seems to be a continuous work in project. Like it, like it never ends. As soon as I think, I'm like, all right, the garage is done. Then all of a sudden, you know, Brian comes and takes a desk. So got some things to change around. But if you'd like to see a full tour and a in-depth detail, maybe some story time included on the garage, just let me know in the comments below. But for now, we'll just throw this in the Hush Life vlog. And yeah, and just a reminder guys, make sure you guys get in on the XO Pack giveaway. Just join our SMS text group. It's free, no purchase necessary. And uh, someone's gonna win. And if you're already in the text thread, you're already on the SMS VIP text thread, you're already in to win the pack. So good luck, guys. Good morning. Uh, man, it has been a minute. I, I hope you guys have been doing well this spring. We're doing a little vlog just to get people up to date on uh, current affairs, what's going on right now. We are, as you probably have noticed, we're a little slow in the video department. Uh, really just because Typically this time of year, we'd be doing the hunt expos. So we'd be in Portland, we'd be in Salt Lake. We would have just finished like two really crazy weeks and that didn't happen this year. Everything got canceled. So our schedule's a little bit off. Uh, we have tried to do a few other things. And so uh, anyways, we're working on it. But I'm currently in the middle of a office redo. Let me just walk you through what's going on here. I had a huge old wooden archaic desk wasn't super comfortable so it kind of matched like these cabinet situations and uh was able to pick up a desk through my buddy tony and a chair this gives me the ability to stand up and work which i think is amazing sitting around can get a little bit hard on the old lower back hips so i'm doing that i think i'm gonna end up moving the fish that's a, a steelhead from the Olympic Peninsula of Washington, picked up a couple years ago. And uh, I've got like a, kind of like a bookshelf thing. So I'm gonna be able to put a bunch of skulls, also like some pronghorn skulls, maybe even a mule deer one. Kind of gives me some places to display more stuff because I'm gonna to remove that and I'm gonna remove that. I think I'm gonna keep the deer. I'm looking at putting like a nice seating chair there. Just picked up this little area rug, try to tie things in. And then I might do like some kind of a little situation here for some more storage. I gotta wait, I gotta pick up the bookshelf tomorrow and then I still need to find a chair 
in a little storage unit and then we'll tie it all together. But I figure I'm in this office enough, especially these days, that I may as well uh, fix it up, do something that, that I like, that's a little more inspiring. So I'm working on that. Second thing I gotta do. I have not been able to set this up yet. So this is the Hoyt Ventum 30. This is in the new wilderness green color, which I think looks really sharp. And then got like some accents that uh, I think are gonna look really nice. Casey loves his bow. He's the, the only one that set it up so far. Because Eric's a lefty, he doesn't even have his yet. So gotta get this set up. A lot of people have asked us over the years, hey, what do you do with your older bows or gear or whatever? And every single one of them has been donated to family, donated to friends or we've given them away in some form of fashion to raise some money. I've got my old bow all ready to rock. It's a cool story. I hooked up with my old high school baseball coach last year at the Portland Expo, and he reached out to me after we saw each other last year and said, hey, I'd be interested in starting to shoot a bow. I got some property. I think it'd be fun to try. So I'm gonna have him fly out to Salt Lake. We're gonna go to Wild Arrow Archery, and the guys are gonna get him set up with my, one of my older bows. Uh, either last year's model or the, the year before. And I'm just gonna return the favor. All the years of coaching that uh, he provided, you know, during my life, the mentorship, he was a fantastic coach. He's an amazing human being. I'm gonna get him set up on the, the uh, Hoyt RX3 or the RX4, and then uh, give him some arrows, you know, just get him to square it away so he can enjoy archery, you know, like so many of us have done. couple other quick things to announce. You may have heard it already, you may not have. We are doing another giveaway centered around our SMS VIP text group. All you have to do for this one is text the words hush pack, one word, no spaces, and you'll message that to the number 29071. The winner of that will get to select their pack of their choice provided by our friends over at Exo Mountain Gear. It's gonna be running on the K3 frame and you'll have a choice between your, the color and the bag size. So maybe you're a whitetail hunter out in the Midwest, you wanna run like an 1800 bag, you don't need much storage, uh, but you're just really packing in a tree stand or a saddle and some sticks. That's a great option. Uh, if you're looking to do like a two to three, four night bivy hunt, the 3200 bag's great. Or if you're looking for like an Alaskan adventure, the 6400 bag is great. Uh, they also have a 4800 bag, which is predominantly what all of us are running. And uh, at the end of the day, you're, uh, you're just automatically in the hat. I think we'll do another one coming up uh, sometime late March. Got that one all in the queue. We'll keep you posted on that as time comes. Brand new, hot off the press. So it's got a big shipment of Blaze Orange hats back on the website and we uh, added this one's a silicone patch you can kind of see it right there it has the antler which is raised and then hush is like debossed into that so th this is a, a bent brim variety we also have this in flat brim the blaze hats though are all customized which is pretty sweet and uh, brand new literally just put it up so I think it turned out really nice in other news, we recorded a podcast recently that should be up in a couple days with uh, our great friend Daniel Roberts. If you watched the movie Find a Way last year, uh, that's Daniel. We took him on a Nevada elk hunt. We had a fantastic time. A lot has changed in Daniel's life in the past 12 months. And so we had a chance to sit down with him, get caught up, see what's going on in his life. And uh, it was super fun. So make sure you check that out. I think it's going to go up on Wednesday. And then, yeah, we're working through what else to do. I know Eric's got shed season coming around the corner. Uh, we've got the annual steelhead trip with Born and Rays coming up here shortly. And with any luck, we'll get into some fish. And then we'll be doing some turkey hunting, some bear hunting. Hopefully this spring it'll, it'll all come together. We'll, we'll keep, you, keep you informed. Anyways, that's all I got for my side of the world. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for the continued support. And uh, we'll certainly see you on the next couple videos. Mm -hmm.